is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town With seven hundred dollars and twenty nine dollar a day from affiliate marketing on autopilot. What's it going on, my friends? I'm Michael Love from my Sweet. Welcome to Serious. Uh, videos about how to make money online with Aquiles Marketing and the lesson today is eliminating sell up and making a fortune welcome back for our concluding video in this uh, introduction to affiliate marketing uh, training course um, this is probably the most important uh, video out of the course uh, because it really talks about mindset I think a lot of people have tons of strategies and have tons of methods for making money online especially within the affiliate marketing space um, and they could talk about thousands of different traffic sources and how you can master those traffic sources and how to increase your conversions and optimize your landing pages and develop sales funnels and get people to uh, click through at greater rates um, and I mean tons of techniques uh, almost um, overwhelming uh, almost intimidating but one thing I feel a lot of people don't touch on especially within the affiliate market world is really the mindset so mindset is going to be crucial so this last video is really going to talk about the importance of having a positive uh, mindset and outlook you know a lot of people may have their own doubts um, especially if you're not necessarily an entrepreneur you just start an affiliate marketing and you hear about people making riches and you feel like you've only made fifty dollars a month or you've lost $500 a month, it's very hard to stay very positive um, throughout your affiliate marketing journal. So I've gathered kind of five tips uh, that have been very beneficial to me throughout my 13, 14 years um, as an online marketer. Um, and as I said, I've been doing affiliate marketing uh, since 2005, so almost 10 years as an affiliate marketer. So these are kind of five tips that have been very beneficial to me. So I want to pass them on to you. And as I said, they really deal with addressing uh, self-doubt. Um, they really deal with staying positive. So number one tip is educate yourself about whatever you don't know. Okay, so um, taking the ostrich in the sand approach does not work with affiliate marketing. Um, for example, I didn't fully understand uh, analytics when I first got started in affiliate marketing so my thing was like burn and churn like send as much traffic to it as long as I get some conversions I'm making some money I don't care if it's optimized or not I don't care if it's optimized for conversions or not um, and I wasted a lot of money that way um, so I took some time out to really learn about analytics I took some time out to really learn about tracking so analytics and tracking I mean they're pretty synonymous but tracking in the sense of click-throughs, uh, link tracking my actual links, cloaking my actual links, um, and actually taking full control of my affiliate marketing efforts. Because um, especially when we talked about traffic in our last video, it's almost very difficult to be good at paid traffic if you don't fully understand analytics. If you don't know what's working out of what you're buying, okay, ultimately you're going to lose a lot of money. So it's always very funny when I find someone that says, hey, I'm a paid traffic expert. I'm a PPC expert. Um, so I asked them, well, what about analytics? Oh, well, I'm not so good at analytics, but I'm a paid traffic expert. It's impossible to be a paid traffic expert and not to understand or appreciate analytics. So um, I just use that case in point to educate yourself on whatever you feel like you have some holes in your affiliate marketing game. If you feel as if sales copy um, is your hole, if you feel like writing, is uh, something that you need to brush up on or something you need to educate yourself on then you know go on YouTube go to Udemy go to um, numerous other resources I mean take a course on Corsica uh, take a course on lynda.com on curating content or analytics or whatever you feel you don't know make sure that you don't have to know everything but as far as setting a goal of becoming a, a successful um, affiliate marketer you need to make sure that you educate yourself 
um, instead of making costly financial mistakes. Um, tip number two um, for staying kind of positive throughout this affiliate marketing journal journey. I keep saying journal. Um, journey is to enjoy your own journey. Okay, so forget about other people's opinions. Forget about other people's success. Um, always remember that this is your life. This is your decision to be entrepreneurial. This is maybe your first step in being entrepreneurial. And this is all about uh, today for tomorrow. So you're setting up your future and everything. So there are a lot of people that are going to break you down. There are going to be a lot of naysayers. There are going to be a lot of people like, what do you do for a living? Are you just playing around on the internet? You know, forget about it. Get an extra job. Work at McDonald's. Um, this affiliate marketing thing is this get rich quick is this scamming people online I mean I've had my own father uh, refer to me as the Miami shyster um, in front of family and I mean that was just simply because um, at one point all I did online was I, I did affiliate marketing full-time online I didn't have a quote-unquote typical nine-to-five job and my father didn't fully understand or respect that and it took almost um, 10 years um, before my father was kind of supportive of kind of me doing some very entrepreneurial things online. Previous to that, it was just kind of this, um, you know, um, apprehension um, or um, cynicism when it came to what I did for a living. So forget other people's uh, opinion is basically what I'm trying to emphasize here and enjoy your own journey, um, especially the affiliate marketing journey that we're talking about here. So um, my next tip um, that has been very beneficial throughout my 10 years in affiliate marketing is uh, consistency. And another different way of saying consistency is to take action persistently. So you must be persistent in taking action. You must be a persistent action taker. You know, I can't stress how important it is um, uh, with taking action, um, especially if you want to achieve anything in life, um, because this is kind of my secret sauce when it comes to kind of count, uh, conquering uh, doubts. Um, it also helps me overcome hesitation. Um, it helps me overcome analysis paralysis where you just analyze something till it's dead and you don't do anything. So you're like frozen by analyzing something. Your pro, your uh, analysis paralysis. You're just paralyzed in your analysis of something versus doing something, going out and doing it. And we all meet these people, they overread, they overthink, they read every blog post on affiliate marketing, but they never pull the trigger as far as trying to do affiliate marketing on their own. You know, so you don't want to fall victim to information overload because I've been there. Um, I'm a student of life. I love learning. I love studying. I love teaching, as you guys can see from this course. Um, so I'm constantly processing huge amounts of information. So some days I have to pull myself out of kind of the student and learning phase. I have to put myself into the producer phase. I have to put myself into the teacher phase. Instead of consuming other people's content, what content have I put out there? Instead of reading other people's tweets, what tweets have I put out there? What blog posts have I put out there? What videos have I created? What Udemy courses or what other training courses have I developed? So you must get into um, the action-oriented uh, mindset. And this really helps you come over self-doubt because you have a lot of small wins. And one thing is that you really need to celebrate those small wins. So when you take these baby steps of action, okay, um, it helps you, it gives you that confidence. Um, so entrepreneurs, they become even more fearless and you take on greater risk, especially when it comes with a certain level of expertise. So you grow that expertise and you take even more risk, uh, calculator risk, uh, sort of to speak. So um, I guess the next uh, tip um, that's been very helpful um, in my affiliate marketing journey has been goal setting. So you want to make sure that you set realistic goals. Um, if you're just starting out um, with affiliate marketing, it's probably not going to be very realistic that you start making a million dollars a month. Probably won't be very realistic that you start making $10,000 per month. Um, it's going to take time to build going to take some mistakes to get to that point it's going to take some investments and personal sacrifice to get to that point it's also going to take some money to invest to get to that point so um, set realistic goals um, for me typically when I start an affiliate program I start any kind of venture online my first goal is to make my first dollar 
okay so I just want to make one dollar after I make one dollar say hey I can make some money with this my next goal is usually kind of around a thousand dollars a month mark so how can I make a thousand dollars a month off of this particular venture um, and then once I achieve the thousand dollars a month mark um, I start to then uh, set my sights towards making uh, two thousand a month and then from two thousand I typically focus on well how can I make five thousand a month and then from five thousand I focus on how can I make ten thousand dollars a month so this is kind of a a realistic goal setting so I know if I can make a thousand I could double that I know if I can make two thousand I could possibly get to five thousand if I can make five thousand I know I can double that because I have something that's working so that all comes from really setting um, you know very smart goals very realistic goals um, and working towards them um, and when you achieve these smaller goals especially your smaller financial goals you know kind of boost your confidence up so you make that first dollar you make 500 like oh my goodness next month I want to make a thousand then after that you know you get in there and you tinker around and add some things take some things away like oh man I got 1200 like I'm eight hundred dollars away from making two thousand dollars a month with this so um, you know it's all about um, like I said setting these smaller goals achieving them and celebrating those um, uh, celebrate achieving those goals and passing those thresholds all right so um, I guess my last goal uh, that I really want to emphasize here is that you want to model your success after people who have done it so I know this is very hard because there are a lot of gurus everyone comes across you know, they could have just started a month before you but they want to position themselves as a guru just for financial gain so I would say find one or two people these don't have to be mega gurus like the Frank Kearns of the world um, you can just find someone uh, that you admire um, you see their affiliate sites you read about their books you take their courses on Udemy or whatnot follow them and model uh, yourself after their success because if they've done it you know they have the same brain that you do the same 24 hours in the day they use the bathroom like you do okay so the only thing that may differ between you and them is that maybe they're working a little smarter or maybe they're a little more productive or maybe they've been doing it a little longer than you but aside from that they're the same person you know from the biological and physiological standpoint they're the same person as you therefore if they can achieve it you also can achieve it um, so when you model yourself after someone it's also easier for you to kind of model so kind of adopt them as a mentor you know if they put out a course purchase that course get in contact with them give them feedback on that course you know um, so um, having a mentor is I mean heaven sent I mean I have several mentors online that I've worked with uh, for the past few years uh, Jamie Lewis uh, being one of them starting my you know actually getting me started in affiliate marketing uh, Ty Cohen um, it's really been uh, very helpful uh, over the years um, Dan Andrews from the tropical NBA.com uh, as a friend as well as a mentor uh, really tap in every week uh, James Shramko out of Australia so these are tech guys uh, Dan Norris uh, with the seven day startup so these aren't necessarily affiliate marketers, but these are online entrepreneurs um, that I've kind of adopted and modeled my success after. Um, so I can't emphasize how important and crucial it is to find someone, model yourself after them. So hopefully um, these five tips will be as uh, successful in eliminating kind of the self-doubt that comes along with this whole affiliate marketing journey. Um, have any questions um, on this course? always feel free to message me and or post a question on the discussion board if you have enjoyed this course and you've gotten down to this video please do write a review I mean I take the reviews very seriously I write all of them personally um, if you feel like this course has added some value and enhanced your likely uh, success as affiliate marketing please write a positive review um, I can't appreciate or thank you enough in advance for writing me a positive review um, and then if you feel like this course has not created the amount of value uh, that you've liked or that you expected, please message me. I'll see how I can increase that um, for you. Um, in the event that I'm able to increase or give that value that you were anticipating that you did not receive, um, hopefully I can gain a very positive review on this course uh, from you. 
by helping you on a personalized level. Again, thank you for the opportunity to teach you. I hope that I have planted a few seeds. I hope I have um, stirred up some ideas, and I hope I have pushed you in the direction of taking action in your journey as an affiliate marketer. Uh, please do look for other courses uh, similar to this. I have a few social media marketing courses, some content marketing courses, as well as some courses where I talk about uh, specific social networks. So how to actually um, get started in marketing on Instagram, how to get started marketing with Facebook ads, um, and things like that. Always feel free to reach out to me at brianquiet.com um, if you want the opportunity for some type of consulting, uh, you want some advisory services, you need help with social media marketing or content strategy, uh, I am available uh, for hire at brianquiet.com. Again, thank you very much for taking this course, and I look forward to hearing from you um, off outside of this course. Have a great evening, great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, wherever you're in the world. Stay blessed. Continue to work hard. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel to learn much more online with affiliate marketing deeply.